everyone. In recent years, with the recycling industry is getting boomed, and a lot of people are interested in this industry. If you want to start your own new recycling business and want to find a reliable manual ma machinery factory, then China Doing will be one choice of you. In today's live show, I will follow Ferry to visit the factory of China Doing and uh, to know the working process of these machines. Now, welcome, Ferry. Hello, Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, everyone. This is Ferry. Welcome to Doing Factory. And today, I'm going to show you our factories and show you how our machine works. So let's go inside and have a look. Come okay, on. let's go. OK, Ferry. Yes. Um, firstly, I want to uh, I want to have, can you have a general introduction of your company to us, firstly? Yes, sure. Um, we are specialized in waste in recycling industry mm -hmm. in 10 years already. Mm -hmm. 10 years? Yes. A long time. Yes. We started on 2011. Uh -huh. And uh, at the beginning, two years, our office are located in Xinxiang City. You know, mm -hmm. the one city of Henan province? Yes. yes. And, and on um, to 2013, mm -hmm. we moved our company to Zhengzhou City, the mm -hmm. capital of the Henan province, you know. Yes, I know. So, uh, uh, after these years, you moved from Xinjiang to Zhengzhou, mm -hmm. the capital. So your company must have developed very well in the recent years. Y yes, so, so because uh, now we have our own factory in uh, 20,000 square meters, mm -hmm. and we have 200 employees already. So we have to move our company, bigger company, oh, move to a bigger company. 200 employees. Yes. yes. Well, that's cool. Yeah. You know, we have our... Uh, we have a technical department mm -hmm. and we have 10 engineers uh, in charge of different technologies. Yes. No, they are really, they are really uh, professional. Yeah. They all have 10 years experience. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is, I, I see this is one reason why we are so professional in this industry. Okay. So it sounds your company have uh, developed a long time. Your company must be very professional, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. I guess your the machines your company produced must have sold many countries, right? Yes, uh, until now we have sold our machine over 60 countries. 60 countries. Yes. And uh, when we go inside the workshop, I'm going to show you one map where we sold our machines. So okay. Welcome to Doing Factory. So this is our factory. Let's go inside and have a look. Okay. Come on. Okay. So the workshop is uh, inside this building, right? Yes. And um, after we go inside, you will ha you will see how it looks like. Okay. So let's go inside the workshop. This is uh, our uh, factory. So how, come on, have a look. This is our factory's name. Okay. Uh, doing holdings, right? And um, doing holding is our company name actually. Uh -huh. And uh, doing machines. Uh, our factory name is Doing Mechanical Equipment Manufacturers. Okay. Here is a map I told you before that the we... The 60 countries, right? <laughs> yes, but actually uh, there, there is a limit for the map, mm -hmm. so there are just some countries, not all 60 countries. Actually, we sold more than 60 countries, but there is some countries. Only oh, some countries, but still a lot of pictures on that. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, here this side, I'm going to show you. Uh, this uh -huh. is our uh, company's introductions. Okay, and okay, I see that. Doing holdings. Yes, we do a lot of the uh, waste recycling, mm -hmm. so all the rest of the recycling business. And this is a certification mm -hmm. for our companies. This is a CE certification, mm -hmm. and this is ISO certification. Mm -hmm. They are all international certifications, which can prove that our factory is really professional. Mm -hmm. I see that. Uh, yes. And uh, here you can see this is some um, project cases we installed in other countries. So all of the pictures are shot on the construction site. Yes. Yes, wow. exactly. So uh, if you want to know, if you want to know if our, uh, your country have our machines, you can write down your com your questions in comment areas, and we're gonna tell you if your country have our machines. And the next step, let's go inside our workshop. But before we go yeah. inside, we need yeah. to wear safety hat. Huh. Yes, I agree with you. So here you go. You need oh, to wear thank a you. safety hat. 
Am I right? Yes, let me help you. Okay. Oh, do you come for you? Yes, okay. thank you. Very calm. So now uh, let's go into the yeah, workshop. I'm ready. I'm ready. So are you ready? Let's go inside. Let's go. So this is our workshop. So let's have a look. Come inside. Uh, this is a machine that's ready to This is a machine ready to ship. This, this machine is, yes, is already. Uh, Finished and ready to ship to our customers. Okay. Yeah, already by other customers. Yes, yes. And this is our uh, raw material space. This is our raw material uh, area space to uh, uh, stock our uh, raw materials. Most of them are steel. Yeah, yes. yes. I see. Yes, steel. Yes, steel used to uh, make the man uh, make these machines. Mm -hmm. So okay, let's go inside. Your your manufacturing factory is very busy. Yes, yeah, so we got a lot of orders. So maybe in today's live show there will be some noise inside. So <laughs> and uh, uh, to this, uh, let's look, let us, let's have a look for our machines. Uh -huh. So where which machine will we? This is the machine. So we're gonna. This is the machine. So and I'm gonna introduce to you today. All of them. That's all of them. So let's oh, have a look cool. first. Okay. Come on. So we can start with this one. We can start with this one. We can have a look. This is a copper wire recycling machine. Copper wire recycling machine. Yes. Uh, this machine can recycle all kind of the wires and copper wires and the cables. Mm -hmm. You know, for some uh, house use, the home use, the uh, yeah, home use the wires and the wires of cars, the motorbikes, and also the communication cables. Oh, yeah, yeah and getting cables yeah. and also some electronic uh, wires. Uh -huh. So this can all be recycled by this machine. Can recycled by this yes, machine? Yes, this machine. machine can dispose all of them. Yes, yes. Wow, that's cool. And uh, let me introduce you how it works. Okay, so, okay. Tell me. You see, this is this is a uh, small type of our copper wire machines, but I can still introduce you how it works. It's generally it's the same working same working way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the crushers. This is a pressure. Then we input the wires inside. From where? From here? From here, this is the input areas. Uh -huh. We input this inside. And uh -huh. then, the after crush, we will have granulator. So uh, I can have a look. What's this? This is the granular. After yeah. after crush, then the plastic and uh, this is a plastic. Uh, this is a wire. This is copper wires, the same wires. So oh. after crush, these two, they are being mixed together, you know, they uh, because it's wires, mm -hmm. right? And after crash, uh, plastic and the wires, the coppers are separated, mm -hmm. but still mixed together. Oh, then we use... After the crash, there will be the small pieces, but still mixed together. Yes, and then this, uh, we transport these granulators to air separators. Yes, this is air separators. And then we're going to separate the copper and plastic by this. So on this side is uh, <laughs> coppers, and on the other side is plastic. Oh, the other side also will something come out. Yes, yes. So actually, the copper mm -hmm. copper will come out in this side. Mm -hmm. And the plastic plastic will come out in inside side. Come on, Alan, let, let me show you. There. That that side, that, that, that side, the, the plastic bears comes out. But you know, sometimes uh, there are some little coppers inside of the plastics mm -hmm. still inside. So we need the electrostatic separators to separate the coppers inside of the plastic. Oh, this so this, this machine can separate the copper inside of the plastic to improve the beauty of the copper. Oh, I get it. Yes. And okay. you know these machines can can recycle some uh, thin wires. Oh, no, the, is it can recycle the thick wire? Yes, it can recycle some thick wires. Uh -huh. uh, for 
three wires or single cables. Uh -huh. We also have the uh, configurations you can recycle them. Mm -hmm. So for if you have thick cables or thick wires, we can just uh, make a bit of noise. <laughs> yes, because like now they are under manufacturing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you have thick wire or thick cables, we can add a threader to uh, thread them. We'll add them. another cut threader. Yes, well, I can show you. This is a threader. This is a threader. We oh, can right. thread the thick covers to a long pieces. Mm -hmm. Then these pieces gonna transfer to crushers. Okay. This is crusher. From threader. From threader. Yes, that means we just need add a threader inside in front of the crusher. Uh -huh. After crusher, the long pieces will go into the crusher. Uh, after threading, the long pieces will go into the crusher and crush again. So we can recycle all kind of the thicker, mm -hmm. thick cables or wires if you mm -hmm. use different configurations. Okay, it can recycle thick wires, right? But I feel heard that uh, there is uh, aluminum wire, right? Yes, exactly. Oh. So actually our machine can recycle copper wires and yeah. aluminum wires separately. Okay. So means you recycle copper wires first. And after you clean the machine, and we recycle aluminum, aluminum wires. Also yes, aluminum. but on market, actually, mm -hmm. actually on market, there are uh, one kind of the cable, one kind of wire is composited, copper wires and aluminum wires. Yes. So they are composited together, they can't separate by manually. Yes. So we can, but we have configurations, we can separate them. We just customize one uh, big machine, Mm -hmm. uh, the capacity is one ton per hour. Wow. Yes, it's a big machine. Uh -huh. Two, our American customers can help them to separate this this kind of alumina and cop copper wires, composite the wires. So, uh, you just have to say the one ton, right? That's the, the capacity is one ton per hour. It's, per really, hour. it's a big machine. And after, we, I'm going to show you the machine. Okay. About your work, your capacity about this machine. Uh, for the capacity for this machine, so we can have a look here. Uh -huh. The capacity is, is from 100 to 3 tons per hour. So it's a really big range. Mm -hmm. And also, we can customize the, the uh, capacity based on our customers' requirements. But for now, we have 100 to 3 tons per hour. Oh, yes, really? it's Yes, already cover the most of the wires, most of the uh, requirements in the market. Okay, I guess. Yes. So you can customize the machines according to the customer's needs, right? Yes, exactly. And I'm going to show you the wires because mm -hmm. we have power wires. I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. This machine is mainly to recycle the copper wires, but sometimes mm -hmm. in wires, there will be some irons or all yeah. the materials yeah. then. If mix them together with copper, the purity of the copper won't be pure. Yeah. So you can sell them in high price. Mm -hmm. So we have also had solution for that. Wow. So come in this way. You say this is wow. uh, a lot of wire. <laughs> this is the wires of the cars. So we can have a look. Uh -huh. You say there is this is iron. Right. This yeah, is the iron and uh, yeah, this is the. Uh, we can have a look. You see, the wire is outside oh, is the plastic, right? Yeah. Yes, and the, this is the copper wire. It's really thin. Yeah, it's really thin. And uh, uh, you see, in this some kind of plugs. These plugs, there will be iron inside, and also there will have some brass inside. So, for this kind of wires, mm -hmm. we we need to remove the iron, iron. and the brass. Oh, yes. Yeah. So how do we remove the iron and the brass? How? You see, this is a magnetic separators. This small machine can separate the iron? Yes, because this machine is automatic magnetic separators. Uh -huh. So means inside there is a very big magnetor oh. inside. Okay, so okay. when uh, when they transfer the granulars through this uh, belt of wires, the mm -hmm. magnetic separators so will remove the iron. I guess it. Yes, yeah. yes, and also for brass, we can add this is the line vibration screen. Mm -hmm. So we can use this screen to remove the brass. Oh, yes, because the brass is in pieces and yeah. for copper is the lines. So after this, this kind of vibration, and then the brass will be shot out. And on oh. this, on uh, under, will be coppers. Where? There. 
yes, yes, yes. By it. The copper will go down, so and the upper is the brass. And this side, this where comes all the pure copper. Okay, I get it. The yeah. recycling process is must uh, go through a lot of production, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, and, uh, I have a very important question. So, what's the price of this machine? <laughs> Yeah, the price really depends on the how many equipment you use. That means uh, the computer different configurations mm -hmm. and different capacities will have different price. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, so this machine, this is a small machine, right. small one. Yeah. The capacity is one hundred to one hundred fifty kilograms per hour, yeah. and the price for this one is around around uh, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars, ten thousand eight hundred USD dollars for this one, and, and this for one the more. other one, yeah, yeah, and for the other, you know, for biggest one, it can yes. reach to three hundred thousand dollars. But it's just a rough idea. So if you have, so if you have a specific, if you want to know exactly price, you can contact with us, and we can give you the exact price based on on your requirements. And we, because we're going to give you a specific configuration. So, so that's why I say contact with you, right? Yes, you can contact with us for details. Okay. And here, um, this? This, this is a PCB recycling machine. PCB recycling Do you know PCB board? Uh, I guess it's a board uh, inside the computer. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Actually, PCB, actually, actually, PCB board is everywhere. You, PCB board, you can find the PCB board in computers mm -hmm. and uh, uh, electronic products, yeah. and cell phones. Cell phones. Yes, also some uh, electric home home uh, home appliance. Wow. So you actually, PCB board is everywhere. Yes, it's uh, really everywhere. It's a big. It's a, actually it's a huge amount of the scrap PCB board. Mm -hmm. Yes. So why why should we recycle this PCB? Just uh, because it is everywhere? <laughs> of course not only because of this. Uh, let me show you. Okay. Oh, this top right? Yes, actually this is a PCB board. Two of them. Yes. You can see this is uh, dismantled from different products. Mm -hmm. And you can um, I, I tell you why. There is a value to recycle the PCB board because the PCB board is mainly made by metals, mostly is. is copper. Yes, oh. uh, copper and resin and fibers, and also uh, actually not one hundred percent of metal uh, copper, but also has some precious metals like gold, gold. silver. Yes, exactly because PCB board have a have a little precious metal inside even. It's small, but it's still a big value for us to recycle them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You can't get gold from, the, from this one, from the winter. <laughs> yeah, you can get uh, the metals from the okay. uh, PCB board by our machine. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so let me introduce you the whole process. Okay. 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 Actually, the first step, as you can see, there are a lot of the electronic components. This is electronic components. Mm -hmm. So before we recycle, uh, boards, uh, PCB board. We need to remove, remove this. Uh, we need to remove this component from this, like yes. this little part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are gonna use our dismantle machine. This is this is side. a PCB dismantling machine. Dismantle machine. Yeah, to remove. You can see we can remove all this kind of the component, oh, yeah. and after we are gonna get the clean board, clean, clean board, 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 clean board. Okay. Oh, you mean that's the yes, one we, part? We can, we can, we can recycle this, and after this month, we're gonna have a clean board. This so is. that motion does the dispose of this clean board. Yes. So then we can input this board inside our machine. Oh, from where? From where? From that one? From from here. So it's and higher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's high. So normally during the production, uh -huh. we will add a uh, belt conveyors to. Transport the board automatically okay. to the to shredder. That's so really this is the shredder. Oh, this okay. shredder can shred this piece by pieces. Oh, or to, yes, to shred them to big pieces. And after it's crushing, 
buy a whole process, we're gonna get this product. Wow. So actually, you can see this is uh, this is a copper, I guess. Yes, it's copper, and this is metals. Oh, metals, not the only copper. Yes, this is uh, coppers, and this is the resin and the fibers. The PCB board are mainly made by this two. Okay. So yes, I, I know the copper. The copper can be sold in a good price, but what about this one? For the resin, they can also use as a padding for some. Uh, Wood uh, for some wood composite the product. Oh, also, yeah. can be sold, right? Yeah, this can also be sold. Wow. Okay. Cool. So let me introduce you the whole process. Okay. So this is a thread, right? Mm -hmm. So thread. first step, we we thread it first, uh -huh. and after it's gonna be a pieces. So oh, like, I see some small no, pieces. This is small pieces. After thread, it's gonna be a small pieces. Yeah. And this is small pieces. Will be transformed by this belt somewhere. Oh, yeah, I know this part. <laughs> I know this part. This, yeah, it can transform, uh, get the iron from outside. Right? Yes, because sometimes there are iron in, on the PCB board, mm -hmm. so we need a so we magnetic don't need the iron, iron, right? Yeah, we don't we don't want the iron because the iron will break the blade of the press pressure. So that's why we need to remove them first. <laughs> Otherwise, our blade will be damaged easily. So after we remove the iron. And uh, then the uh, rest pieces will be transferred to this is crusher. This is a crusher? That, that, yes, that this one is a screw? Uh, this is a threader. Threader. Yeah, threader them to the small pieces. And, uh, uh, by this crusher, uh -huh. then we kind of get, uh, you know, the just metal that I show you, very small particle, yeah, granular. Yes, yes. So, and, and after this, uh, this metal to be a uh, Oh, I, I think we need to wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's kind of void. After all, this is a factory. Yeah, because we have some orders under making, so that's oh. why we have some more noise. Okay. So uh, after press them to more particles, mm -hmm. then this. <laughs> wait, 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 So after this, oh, so after crushing, then mm -hmm. it will go to this. This is a long tail vibration screen. Actually, this the main use for this screen is to control the granular size. Oh, that's so, cool. yeah, because you know after crush the size is not very even. Mm -hmm. So some is big and some is small. The mm -hmm. big part actually. It can be separated. The oh. resin fiber and the metals can separate. So until they are very small size, that, that means metals and the resin fibers are separate. So oh, this, this one will control the size. Yeah, the bigger one will. Yes, the bigger one. You see the up, up is the bigger one. The bigger oh, one will go back to pressure to press again. Oh. Until is the crash to small size, can pass the screen. Uh -huh. And then the small one can go inside the air separator. Okay. Oh, I see. This part is the. Uh, I guess it's copper? Yeah, but this no. is very clean, actually. On this side is the metals. Yeah. I just yeah. to show you the metals. Metals. The metals. Uh, so on this side, the metal, this gonna comes out by this side. Okay. And uh, I show you the other side. Oh. Other side, I guess, is the. Fiber, right? Yes, this this is resin and the fibers will come out on the lower side, on this side, and the same as copper wires. There will be some metals inside the resin. Yeah, I see some color is different. Uh, the yes, the color difference is mainly because of the electronic. Uh -huh. They have a colorful component on it, so after <laughs> crush, this will be colorful too. Okay, but inside there will be some metals, uh -huh. so we need. Use the electrostatic to separate metals from the resin and the fibers. Well, use this machine to separate the yeah, little these, metals. Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, we can uh, improve the purity of the metals. We can get more metals by mm -hmm. these machines. This yeah. really, uh, it can improve the purity rate of the metals. Yeah. So this is really important and high technology. Yes, this one. Oh, uh, and. Uh, uh, let me put this first. Okay. So, <laughs> do, you want, do you want do you want do you want to have a look 
for our machine running? Yeah, of course. How do we do it? How to speak? Okay, so uh, let our engineers help us to operate these uh, machines. Uh, 工程师，麻烦帮我们试一下机。So these are our engineers, and they can uh, to help us to operate to let you see how it works. That's really I can see the machine works, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, exciting! It's running. Oh, it's work. It's running. It's running. Yes. Wow. Okay, so machine running is crazy. <laughs> yes, you know actually, this is a whole production line. Just uh -huh. input the piece of bird inside, uh -huh. and you can get the metals and the resin fiber. Is that amazing? Yeah, yes, yes. I just saw the metals come out from a, the small pieces come out from yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so next, I'm gonna introduce you one more machine about the recycle. Uh, no, no, no. What? I sorry, you have questions. Sorry. Yes, I don't know the price of this machine. You don't tell me the most <laughs> important part. Okay, so now first let me introduce the capacity for this for this machine mm -hmm. is two hundred to three hundred kilogram per hour. Two hundred to three hundred kilogram per hour for this machine. Four hour. Yes. Oh, and uh, so the capacity you can see we have around. One hundred. We have the capacity for this machine from one hundred kilograms uh -huh, per hour to three tons per hour. It's really yes. big range. Yeah. This range is just you know for easy understand. We make a small type, middle size, large scale. But actually, we have many many capacities for oh. these machines. Okay. And the price is around um, thirty thousand dollars to three hundred thousand okay. dollars. So it's a big range too. It's quite. Depends on the capacity and the configurations, so oh, the price okay. is quite different. So we must know the, the 
the needs of your customer, right? Yes. Okay, get it? Yes, exactly. We can customize the machine based based on our customers' requirements. Okay, get it? Yes. So, uh, um, the next machine is which? Which uh, one? This one. You mean this one, right? Yes. Uh, this is a uh, uh, machine can mm -hmm. recycle. You know, we have uh, some aluminum composite things. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. uh, aluminum plastic composite. Wow. Yes. Let me show you. Oh. We have. Uh, oh, I see a lot of. You know what's this? Uh, medical. Yes, it's medical blisters. Medical blisters. So you can have a look. This side is, uh, this okay. case is aluminum. Aluminum. Yes, and this okay. is uh, and this is plastic. It's mostly they are PVC, but sometimes uh -huh. they are PE too. So okay. this is, this is uh, alumina and uh, plastic composited thing. So we can use our machine to recycle this. You know, they are all scrap the things, so we can so, recycle them. But I don't know. What's the value to recycle this blister? Well, we, because we can separate the aluminum and the plastic. I'll show oh, you. Okay. I'll show you. So, after the machines, mm -hmm. we can get, you see, What's from it? the, from that, uh, mis, uh, from that medical blaster, uh, we can get, this is uh, alumina. You have a look, this is alumina inside. Oh, uh, alumina uh, can reduce the uh, on industry directly. Uh -huh. And this is the plastic. This is plastic? Yes, this is plastic. So alumina and plastic, they see plastic. Okay. These so are also high value to uh, recycle this. It can oh. be reused for industries. Both of them can be reused? Yeah. And it can sold to the market directly? Yes, it can sold to the market directly. Okay. Wow. And uh, uh, let me introduce you the whole process of uh, this. Actually, okay. for this kind, because, you know, Mm -hmm. We are using physical way to recycle all of this, so there is no pollution. Physical way. Yes, it's yeah. physical way to mainly to separate them and to crush them or grind them to separate the metal and the plastic. And after we use the equipment to separate them, mm -hmm. so it's technique is really environmental ways, you know, okay. environmental friendly ways to okay. recycle them. So there is no water pollution or chemical pollution. Okay. Even there is no air pollution. I'm going to show no you air what. pollution. Yeah, you know, this, have you seen this big one? I, I, I see it. It's so big that other machines. <laughs> yes. And I, oh, it's hot. Yes. Actually, this is a pulse. Uh, this is a pulse uh, dust collector. So they can use to recycle all the dust during the whole process. So when we, when we, when we run in the machine, you can see there is no dust. Both machines can use this. Design. Yes, yes. So during of the uh, operation, the running of the machines, mm -hmm. have you seen the dust? I guess no. No, right? Yeah, because yes. there is no dust. All the dust are going to going into these collectors. This is dust wow. collectors. So it's we cool. can maintain there is no air pollution because of this. It's also high talk um, technologies. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. let's go back to the alumina plastic uh, machines. <laughs> you can finish the process to me. Yes. Actually, they have, uh, because I want to tell you, it, it, it's the same process mm -hmm. uh, to crush and then separate them and then to use electrostatic separator. But the biggest difference between this machine and uh, like a copper wire recycling machine or PCB recycling machines, uh -huh. the biggest difference because we have the grinders. Grinders? Yes, it's hard. Yeah, right? look, this is the grinders. Uh -huh. Because you know, the alumina and the plastic, they are totally composited together. So we have to grind them as a powder. As is a powder. So then we can separate them. Oh, only yes, we, we have to powder. grind them as a powder. Then we can separate the alumina and the plastic. So the biggest difference between this machine and the other machine is we have the grinders. Okay, so the process, the other process is same, the crusher is good. Uh, first the crushing and crushing. then they also crush the small pieces onto yes. metal and plastic separate and then we use machine to separate them. So after crushing there will be some pieces, small pieces and then 
we transfer them by wind. This is the wind conveyors. So we transfer them by wind conveyors, and then the this pieces, cutting pieces, we are going to the grinders. Wow. And uh, you go into the grinders, then grind the grinder to uh, powder. Um, to, oh, I, I, let me guess, this part can control the size, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You remember this. Yes, I guess. This is a rotary, this is a, this, this is a rotary vibrator twins uh -huh. to control the size of the powders uh -huh. to make sure all the pieces can be separated. So aluminum and plastic can be same size to, uh, can be, can separated. be separated to small size mm -hmm. until them separate. Mm -hmm. Then so we I can know. use, uh, then, oh, you see, uh, I can I can show you. I get. So they are wow. crushed to these small small pieces. Oh. Then uh, some you can see there is some alumina, and uh, then the little darker one is plastic. The wow. lighter one is uh, alumina. But most of the most of them are the light. Yes. Light. Yeah. And then we use this same as the electrostatic separators. To separate alumina and, and plastic. plastic, so uh, the plastic will comes out in this way, and the metals will comes out in only other way. Out oh, from there, there. This no is uh, the, for plastic, plastic, yes. And on this side, we the have. We, we have. On this side, we will have the plastic. Oh, okay. So. And also, I'm gonna tell you one thing. And you know, for the grinders, uh, actually, uh, actually, we, uh, you know, for plastics, they are easy to melt. They are easy to melt even the temperature is high, right? Yes. And after during the work, the grinders working, the temperature will be higher. So we add the cooling system to control the temperature, not too high, to melt the plastic. Oh, so you can see this is a water cooling system. This tube, this yes, you see the water will come inside this way, go into the grinders, and and uh, to take off the heat, then go back okay. to uh, go back to that tank. Okay, so okay. this is water cooling so system for this. Temperature can be controlled. Yes, destroy the plastic plastic powder, right? Yes, okay, exactly. Get it, get it. So and also I'm gonna introduce you. You know. You know what's this? What? Um, this is alumina. Uh -huh. This is plastic. Do you know where it comes from? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't have any here. Okay. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> yes, so I'm going to tell you now. Uh -huh. uh, actually, it comes from the alumina panels. You know, alumina panels for the decorations. Decorations? Yes, for the decorations. So for alumina panels, there are the one side is alumina and the other side is the plastics. So we can recycle alumina panels too, but we need to use different grinders because you can see the, oh, the this is different. different. Yeah. This is smaller, but this is bigger because you are using different grinders. Okay, so that I, I know one point. The different grinder will uh, decide the different price. Yes, right? exactly. <laughs> because the configuration will be different. The price will be different too. Okay, so the price also according to the raw materials. Exactly, you're really you're so clever. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I know it. Okay, and uh, so the this is uh, mainly can recycle the medical blasters. But if you if you have different uh, materials, you can also contact us, and we're gonna give you the solutions. Uh, which configuration we should use to recycle your materials? Okay, okay. great. So the of it. Yeah, you're really curious about the price. Yeah. Okay. okay. The price I have, I have to know so I can <laughs> buy this machine. Oh, I'm excited! You can buy. It. <laughs> so okay, let me introduce you the price, same uh -huh. as other machines. Uh, the the for this alumina plastic recycling machine, mm -hmm. we have capacity from two hundred to one thousand kilogram per hour. Mm -hmm. It's also big capacity. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the price is quite different too. Um, the price for alumina plastic is around the three thirty thousand dollars to one hundred thousand dollars. It's also a big, big difference, you know, yeah. because the machine, the configuration is really different between different capacities. Yes, I get it. I understand. 
Uh, yes, but I can tell you one good news. What's good news? <laughs> this is the uh, uh, like perfect we offered for our live show for our audience uh, watching uh, our live show. Uh, we offer ten percent off if you can buy the machine within one month. Uh, when you are uh, watching our live show, so ten percent off for all months. machines. Ten percent off for all machines. So yeah. if you for like. Take a, um, let's for example, so if you can buy this one mm -hmm. recently, within one month, mm -hmm. uh, you can you can save around uh, three thousand to ten thousand dollars. I can save so much money. Yes, you can save that much. Yeah. It's a really big discount. Remember <laughs> that? Yeah, I, I get it. It's really. It's really perfect to buy the machine as as recently. Right? Yes, because we can. You know, normally we don't offer so big discount, mm -hmm. but because this is our first live show, and we want to give some benefit for our audience who are watching us, who are supporting with uh, us, that's why we give ten percent off. You know, we never give this price. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I want to tell the audience if you want, if they want buy this machine, buy, buy it now. now. <laughs> yes, buy it now. Okay, so. Uh, come, we gonna show. I gonna show you the other machine can recycle radiators. Recycle radiators. Radiators. Oh, this. I get it. Do you I know it? Do, do you know it? Uh, I think uh, it look has. It looks like uh, from the air conditioner. Exactly. Actually, this is a scrap. This is from scrap air conditioners or the car tanks. Tank. Yes, this is used to cooling the temperature. Mm -hmm. So uh, after after when the uh, air conditioner scrap mm -hmm. or uh, the car scrap, mm -hmm. then they will the they will dismantle them and uh -huh. they will take this out. Wow! They will take this out. So this also can be recycled for purpose. Right? Yes, exactly. I wow. tell you why we can why we uh, why we want to recycle this. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's have a look for this. You for this see, part? this is this. You can see this outside. This is a uh, uh, co this is copper tube. Yeah. Maybe we can see this in more clear. This this is a uh, copper tubes. tubes. Yes. And uh, this is alumina foil. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, iron. Oh, so okay. you Three see, parts. copper, alumina, iron, or metal. Yeah, so this is really big value to recycle them. But this machine can recycle them together? Yes, this wow. machine can recycle them together. Uh, so uh, let, me, let, me, let, let me introduce you the machines. Let me introduce you the machines. Okay, so uh, you know, after recycling, we will have... Oh, yeah. these are the products of this machine, yes. right? After a whole process, we can... This is our raw material, right? And oh. after recycling, we get this. This is a copper. You say it's a copper granulars, and this is a aluminum granulars, mm -hmm. and this is iron granulars. So after the whole process, you will get these three metals directly, and you can sell them on market directly to make money. Wow. Oh, can know which 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 product is the most expensive? Um, this one, the copper. For now, uh, copper is uh, really expensive now, so wow. we can sell them on market. It's a, it's a lot of copper. Yes, it's uh, mm, actually it's around the seven thousand dollars already. Wow, seven thousand dollar per ton. Seven thousand dollar per ton for this one. Wow. So let me introduce you whole process how it works. Okay. This is a big shredder. This is shredder is bigger than that one because this capacity is bigger, so we use a bigger equipment. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's first we input all this kind of the radiator inside the inside oh, oh, that part, right? Yes. Um, during the pro during production, actually, we also can add one uh, belt conveyor to transform the materials into a shredder directly. Oh, cool. Yes. And after after these shredders and these materials will be threaded to uh, long pieces around the uh, around the 10 cm around. Mm -hmm. Long pieces. So and after the no, the belt conveyor, we have, yes, exactly. We have it transported to crusher. Oh, this again, is, crusher. Yes, okay, it's crushers. Uh -huh. So this crusher, 
very crush these long pieces to the small pieces like that one. Like I just show you. Oh, I see that small. Yes, small that's granules to put in the glass box. Oh, so okay. then the this gonna crush all these radiators to small pieces, mm -hmm. and by this way, the most metal metals are separate. The almost separate. So copper, iron, and aluminum are already separate, but still mixed together. Oh, you mean after crusher, they they can separate it, but they just uh, mix it together. Yeah, this is a crusher, a crush, crush, crush. Uh -huh. And after everything is crushed to small pieces, uh -huh. and then we transfer by the, this is the wind come here. Uh -huh. We transfer this to this, oh, to this system. Uh, yes, this is called negative. A uh, negative pressure the propylene system. Mm -hmm. The main use the main use for this machine is to take out the most of the light aluminum. So I can light show aluminum. you aluminum. Yes, you know alumina is lighter than copper and yes. iron and right. most of. So we can uh, use this system to take out most of alumina. Then we can improve the capacity. The Efficiency will be higher. Oh, after input, after take out the light. Yes, yeah, because we pressure. already take most of them out. So oh. for the rest of the equipment, they can just separate less materials. So oh, this, okay. this, 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 this system uh -huh. can improve the efficiency a lot. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they are all light alumina, mm -hmm. and for the rest, we still have a heavy alumina, copper, and iron. So they're gonna go down. It's gonna go down. Go oh, down. The lighter will uh, go yes. there. Actually, and this is the board can even uh, can make this all the alumina fall down evenly. That oh. means the copper alumina and iron can be even. So oh, okay. then this transferred by the belt. And I guess you already know what it is. I know it. It can separate the iron. Right? <laughs> yes, you learn a lot. <laughs> So the iron will come out on this side, uh -huh. and after is alumina and alumina, alumina and copper. Iron come out, yes. aluminum and uh, yes. copper. Yes, when alumina, the iron comes out, and alumina and copper will go into the air separator. This is air separator. I you already saw it on yeah. the copper, the copper wire receptor machine and the PCB receptor machine. Yeah, both of them have yes. this system. Yes, yes, because. It can separate the materials depends on their gravity. You know that's for same size. The copper is heavier and the alumina. So right. they, this machine takes this advantage to separate copper and alumina. Wow, that's true. So this part will produce the this, this, The alumina will come down on this side, okay. and the copper will come down on this side. Alumina and alumina can come out on this side. Okay. So you can see they are uh, copper. Oh, I guess I get I see a lot of copper. Yeah, you see this. That's copper. like in the uh, in the box just now. Yeah. Right? So, and uh, then let's go back to the machine. You can have a break. Now you understand the whole process. Yes. The lead, lead aluminum, heavy aluminum, and the, the copper. Wow, well, <laughs> you're very clever. You can yeah, say yeah, that. great. <laughs> so, do you have any question about this machine? Of course. So, the price of it, uh, also <laughs> right? Yeah, you're really interested about the price. Yeah. So, same as other machines. Mm -hmm. uh, the the price is really depends on the configurations and the capacities. Uh -huh. Because the different capacity will have different configurations. Means we have different mm, machines. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah, the right. price is different. So, well, the machine for this one is five is five uh, kilograms per hour. The capacity. This, that's yeah, this, for this one. This, this is five hundred. Yeah, this is five hundred kilogram per hour. Oh, this part, right? Yeah, this one. And we also have capacity from five hundred to two tons per hour. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's price is. Um, Around for this machine, the price is around the forty thousand mm, dollars to one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Wow. It's also big, yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, I, I just uh, remember you just said the ten percent discount, right? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. We 
We also offer 10% off discount for this machine too. Mm -hmm. So if you have a need and if you want buy machines, you can buy machine easy, but you can take this discount. You can save a lot of money. Yeah. Well, you can save for a thousand to one ten thousand dollars around. Yeah, really a lot of money. Yeah. If I want, if I need this machine, I will buy it now. <laughs> but you don't need it. <laughs> Maybe I will need it. Okay, so. Uh, I'm gonna introduce you another machine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, small one. Maybe you are interested about the small one. Small one. That's this, this one? one. Yes, this one. Wow, this is really small compared to the big one, right? Yeah. I can I can have a look. This is so big and it is just such a such a large. Yes. And because you know, uh, the difference between this machine. This is called. Uh, new, this is called a striping type reducer separator. Mm -hmm. Why we call this this name is because it has a limit to separate the radiators. You know, for our big machines, so for big machines, we can separate all kind of the radiators, right? Oh, okay. But so for this big. one, the small one can recycle some radiator which is not deformed or damaged. So oh, you are not the big complicated. Yes, they are in very good pieces, not damaged, no damage, and no deformed. Okay. So you, then, if you have this kind of machine, the, if you have this kind of radiators, you can use our machine to recycle it. Just need to cut it because you know the input area. This is the input port. Yeah. The input area. It's limitation, right? Yeah, but we can also customize this. Uh, you know we can make it bigger mm -hmm. as our customer requirement. We can make it smaller or bigger as our uh, okay. based on our requirement from customers. And by this machine, we can get. You see, this is a Only the copper tubes. tubes. Yes, we the at one thing the copper tubes. Yes, the completed computer. Yes, exactly. So the advantage for this machine wow. is we can separate radiators in whole. You know the copper tube in whole pieces and also the alumina in one pieces. Wow. So we can separate them. Wow. We can separate them directly. So and we can sell them on market directly. If I have a lot of uh, food waste uh, electronic, I will use this machine to recycle them. Yes. You know, uh, for some people who are dismantled the radiators, uh -huh. normally when you just take them, the radiator out, it's good form. So it's not damaged or deformed. So they can use this machine to recycle them directly. It would be good for me, <laughs> this machine. And um, you know, we because we have the limitation of the input port, so we need to cut the cut it first. We can cut the radiators. We need to cut the radiators by these cutters. So the cutters will be go through the radiators yeah. go through. And then cut it in proper size, and after we can input this in our machines. Wow! So and this can uh, you see? It's two layers, uh -huh. and some radiators is one layer, some yeah. are two layers. Yes. This machine can recycle one layer and two layers radiators. Both of them can. Yes, but can recycle both of them. Okay. So it also can be made to large to recycle the large ones, large radiators. Uh -huh. Uh, for a large we just need to be cut it. Cut it by size and then cut it to proper size and we can use this machine to recycle them. Okay. So uh what's it, what's this machine price? It's a uh, mixed or uh also occur, also decided by the decided on the on its capacity. Yes, exactly. But this machine are much cheaper than the large one. <laughs> because okay. it has some limit. But this this one is really easy to operate. Just one person can one person can yeah, operate. Yeah, it's really, it's really easy to operate. Only me can operate it? Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. the price for these two machines, uh -huh. uh, we have capacity from 300 kilograms per hour to 400 kilograms per hour and 500 to 600 kilograms per hour. So we have two capacity for this. For this one, yes. one capacity. And for yes. this one, it's only one capacity? Yeah, yes. Well, <laughs> so, and the price is from uh, the price from six thousand dollars to eight thousand dollars, right? Okay. So, by exactly price, you can 
if you are interested and you can contact the way up for the exact price. That's great. Yes. And uh, now there so we have another machine to introduce to me. Uh, yes. I can have a look for that machine. That machine, okay. Yes. Come on, I'll show you this machine. We, we, we have all the different kind of machines to recycle different of the uh, waste materials. So this machine, uh, we can recycle, you know, the plastic mixed with uh, the rubber or plastic mixed with silicone. Uh -huh. You know, do you know the infusing bottles? Uh, when you're sick and you are in hospital, and they will use uh, one infusion bottles to put the medical uh, waters inside your body. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, for that, for that, for that bottle, so it's mainly is, um, plastic is PP. The plastic is PP, and then the you know there is a cap. The cap is silicone. So this kind of machine, this kind of the product can be recycled by this machine. machine. Yes, oh. after recycle, we will start. What is this? <laughs> this is the plastic of the infusion bottles, and this is the cap of it. It's the silicone. Silicone. This is the silicone, and this is the PP plastic. PP plastic. Yes. They both of them also can be sold to the market directly. Yes, they can use it to make new plastic. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay, I guess they many ways can be recycled to new products, right? Yes, this is a meaning for waste recycling because we have too many waste in our own, in, uh, too many waste things on our plants. Yeah. They are they just damage our environment. So mm -hmm. if we can recycle them, we can use them to make money and we can protect the environment. So yeah. it's really good business. Yes, yes. Yeah. And there is one last machine I will show you. The the two, the, this is the last machine again. <laughs> Today we have talked of a lot of the machines. Yes. So this is the last one. Uh -huh. To recycle mixed plastic. Mixed plastic. You know, uh, for some, um, uh, uh, for scrap uh, refrigerators. Yes. Um, on the market, normally they will be deep damaged. Mm -hmm. And uh, after crush, and uh, you, uh, the plastic we are mixed with metals. And after we remove the metals, the plastic will be mixed together. There are different kind of the plastic, like it's a PCB, it's a it's a, uh, like ABS mixed with TS, uh, PVC mixed with PET, etc. Mm -hmm. So we can use uh, this machine to recycle the different mixture, um, a plastic mixture. So the mixed plastic. Uh uh, after separated, why should we separate them? All of them are plastic, right? Yes, they are all plastic, but actually, mm -hmm. but actually, it's um, uh, they are different kind of plastic. Mm -hmm. Some is ABS, some is PP, some is PET, some is PVC, and some is PE. Yeah. So uh, they are all different kind of the plastic. If you sold mixed plastic you can only sell them in low price but if you separate them you know if you separate abs with ps then you got abs and ps wow. then so you can sell them it you can sell the abs different. and you can sell the ps so the price is totally different oh. abs can sell in high price okay. that's the meaning why people want to separate the plastic wow. because this cube uh plastic can be used to make new plastic, so they can mix it together. Oh, okay. They can. They have to be pure. There are only one kind of plastic. Then to make a new plastic one, and like uh, to what uh, ABS can make new ABS. Okay. So I it, it. yeah. So it can mix together with ABS and uh, PS. ABS PS can be used to make anything. Okay. So I that's the it. value. To why they need this machine to separate. Mix the plastic. Wow, <laughs> that is, that is. Yeah, and also actually, this mix machine is meaning mm -hmm. to uh, recycle the flakes, not just small pieces, because uh, uh, on the market, they already crush them to big pieces, so they will just need this machine to separate them. The uh -huh. process for this machine is uh, this is a dryer. The dryer? Yes, we need to dry the plastic. A uh, mask dryer, the separation effect will be better. So, 
Oh. We need to use the dryer. This is big. The capacity for this one is yes. the capacity for this one is three ton per hour. Three ton per hour. Yeah, that's why it has really big value. Wow, it's so large. Yes. So the first step is a dryer. Mm -hmm. After dryers, the mixed plastic we're going to the this is also called the electrostatic separator. Mm -hmm. But this uh, separate is quite different as the one mm -hmm. I told you before. Yeah. Uh, before you uh, separate the metals and plastics, but this one is used to separate mixed plastics. Yeah, yes, I the, remember that. Right? Yes, the, uh, yeah, the also, both of them are using electrostatics, mm -hmm. but actually the working way is kind of different, so they are different machines. Oh, I know it. I get the point. Yes. Okay. So the price of it? <laughs> okay, I know you're gonna ask the price. So let me tell you. Yes, of course. This is an important question. <laughs> yes. So the price for this one, we have capacity from three hundred kilogram per hour to one ton kilogram per hour. And so the, what, what's the capacity of this one? Like this one is three hundred to four hundred kilogram per hour. Yeah, this yeah. one. Is. But as I said before. We can also customize the different machines, different configuration based on the customer's requirements. So the price will be different. Okay, so the, uh, the price for this one, uh, the price for this one is around uh, uh, $25,000 to $35,000. Oh, so still 10% count, right? No, actually, I can show you that. I can show you uh, the discount later. I'm gonna show you the discount. Okay. I oh, think okay. <laughs> I see. Yes. So if you really want to buy the machines recently, if you have any requirements about this kind of you like copper wires or PCBs, yes, or, we, today we have introduced uh, like the radiator. Yeah, radiator the recycling machine and, uh, and uh, the, the uh, copper uh, wire recycling and uh, PCB recycling machine, yes. and also mix the plastic uh, machine, and that aluminum and the plastic, uh, right? Yes, aluminum and plastic uh, machine, yes. and also the machine can separate uh, uh, plastic and rubber or plastic uh, over and uh, silicone. Yes. yes, so the customer who needs this machine, they all can, all of them can buy the machines in recent years. Recently, because we gave that. Ten percent off wow. discount. Here you go. So I we it. offer ten percent off for all our machines. So, uh, yeah. So ten percent off. Ten percent off. <laughs> time buy machine. It has a time limit, right? Uh, yes, it's high time limit. Within one, within one month, within the live show. So if you are watching the live show. And if you are interested about this, just write the message to us that you want to know the machines and our sales are going to contact you to provide your exact details and exact price. And if you want to buy them, you can buy them within one month after our live show. So you can save a lot of money. Yes, it's a good, a good time to buy these machines. Yes. Okay. So so I just remember you say the one ton of water recycling machine, right? Yes, yes. I gonna I gonna introduce you the one ton uh, the copper wire recycling machine we just made for our American uh -huh. customers. But I can I want to show you our manu uh, manufacturer area. So uh -huh. uh, you can have a look. Yes, yes. So, so all of this part. Uh, yes, you can, you can you can have a you can have a look. This is our manufacturer uh, area. There are many things because we have some orders, so we have some many orders. We have many orders, so for them, uh, they are this is under manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's for welding. So I just uh, see that these machines are very big, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, that, that's uh, you know, if I want to want to buy them, so shall I pay them in one in one time? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, you can pay. You can pay only thirty percent. You can pay only thirty thirty percent off. Well, first, then let us to start manufacturers, and then 
uh, when we finish the machine, mm -hmm. and then uh, we will test the machine to make sure the machine is ready, to, is a completely one hundred percent can be used. So, okay. and uh, after we test the machine, we can uh, or our customer can come on our site to watch the machine to test the machine. So when everything, yeah, when everything is okay, no problems, then they can so they can pay the rest of seventy percent off. So I don't need to pay the pay for the machines in one hand. Yeah, no, 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 no,
the capacity for this is one ton per hour. So you can have look, it's quite bigger than the machine we saw. Yeah, that machine only have one production. Line. Yeah, but this is have uh, two. Yeah. So uh, this mist machine is uh, we customized for them because of the uh, the cables mm -hmm. they have is cross linked uh, cross linked wall cables, mm -hmm. which means is. Uh, copper wires and aluminum wires composited together so it can be uh, uh, can be separated by manually so they have okay. to use the machine okay. so we, we customize the, we use different machines to separate the copper and alumina and uh, uh, plastics so let's have a look a close look okay this is a belt conveyor normally we have this belt conveyors in front of the threader yeah, this, this okay. is a sweater. You can say it's really big one. Yeah, because the nice. it's a small one. Yeah, but because the capacity is big, so we need bigger sweaters. Yes. And after, it's going to transfer to a crushing. Mm -hmm. The same process as others. So it's a crushing. And after, we're going to separate. We will use the air separators and the electrostatic separators. Yeah. And uh, then also we have the... What? Which part? Uh, this you can see is big too. We also have this dust called dust collectors, uh, power oh. dust collectors to collect all the dust. Oh, it's transferred that there is no dust in their factory, right? Uh, yes, there is no dust. We can maintain the uh, environmental area about the customer's side. So there is no air separate, there is no air pollution. Oh, that would be nice. Yes. So, uh, so can I know the price of this machine? Uh, yes, uh, no problem. So <laughs> for this one, yeah, because we are customized it, um, yes. the the price is around uh, is around twelve thousand dollars oh, for the whole production line. Wow! Yeah, really a big machine. Yes, big production line. Right? Yeah, I'm, here I can show you the. This is uh, some configuration. This is some. Uh, that has for this machine, we can have a look. So okay. uh, it's uh, coarsening the cables and we can get copper, aluminum, plastic. The capacity is one ton per hour. Copper, you, aluminum and plastic, right? Yes, yes. Oversize, overall size is... Uh, the land, the land uh, the, for this all uh, land square, uh, all occupied land. Oh, okay. Yes, it's a big, you see it's a big machine, so occupation is uh, big too. Around the 200 yes. square meters. Okay. Yes. That's great. So yeah. today our you. So so today 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 we have learned I have learned a lot <laughs> of information about about the waste recycling uh, machines, right? Yes. So uh, I'm very glad to know that because I uh, I have never to know that. So many ways that I can recycle the and to mm -hmm. the, to reuse in the market. Yes. Okay. So actually, this uh, this 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 industry is a really good one. Mm -hmm. And as long as the development of the industries of the moderns of the technologies, there are much much there are a lot of the West things. So yes, we're this, using the so much. We yes. produce every day. Yes. So if we can recycle them. We are really doing good for our environmentals, and at the same time, we can earn, a, we can get benefit from them. So it's really good. Why don't product. we do this? Yeah. Why don't we do this to produce, to recycle the waste and get money? Also, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Today, my today my visit of my visit to the factory of China doing is finished, and uh, thanks very. Yes. And uh, you if you have any questions, you can leave your message to the to. To the room and uh, our uh, our yes, live we show. Gonna, yes, yes, we gonna reply. Or we gonna reply this. Yes, we can. And you can reply this live show. The reply this live show live show, right? And um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so today my live show, my live show is finished. If you have other questions, welcome to contact with Barry. Yes, so, you welcome to contact us and welcome to visit our factory on site. So. Thank you very much for coming to our. It's my pleasure. <laughs> okay. My pleasure too. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.